And I always say that the drugs and alcohol wasn't the problem, that was the solution to our problem. And today, I have a better solution. <laughs> And that's, you know, turning to my family, turning to God. I, I'm asking for that strength. I work as a volunteer for the sheriff's department. It's helped with me, giving back. When I was in that black hole, somebody jumped in that black hole and pulled me out of it. And I, I'm just doing the same now today. I always told by my grandmother, when you make a mess, you gotta clean it up. But I go back in there to show people that it's possible, change is possible. I don't have all the answers. I don't have all the solutions. I'm over four years sober, and still to this day, I reach out. I cannot do this on my own. It's not just me it's affected. It's my family, my loved ones. When we're in the middle of our addiction, we don't see that, but they affect it just as much. For anybody that's out there that's supporting loved ones, we have to be there and give them that hope and believe in them. For people that's still in that black code, I just let them know oh, I'm truly there for you, and I'll be waiting for you. This is my purpose in life today, to work and, and to give back. I always encourage people to um, don't feel ashamed. We have to reach out and we can't beat up on ourselves. Once we get over that shame and guilt, our recovery and healing process begins. Hope is here.